Last time on XCOM 2. So, let's take out the sectoid here. Or we miss an 81%. Uh, that was just a scare tactic. Don't worry. Because what I meant to say is we're going to take out the uh, sectoid from here for the 41%. Also a scare tactic. Probably should have just let him overwatch. Yeah, I didn't get it. Hey guys, right in here, and welcome back to XCOM. You know, I said I'd have it ready by next episode, but I'm just going to record another episode here. So as soon as the uh, character roster is ready, it'll be down in the comments, I promise. So it may even be ready by this episode, I don't know. But, yeah, time to go and get some supplies and intel. The objective, though, says neutralize target. I don't really know what that means. Is that just to kill all the aliens mission, or... What? I don't really know. Anyways, let's give someone a med kit, because now we have no specialists at all. So we really kind of need a med kit. It's still gonna take us quite a while to get mag weapons, though, because I started so late. And because we just don't have that many scientists at the moment. But, on the bright side, we do have two engineers. For some time now, the Resistance has been tracking a VIP known for working with the aliens. And they finally narrowed the target to a quadrant in this area. They've asked us to move in and deal with this person once and for all. As always, we'll need to eliminate any hostile forces protecting the package to secure the area. Capture the target if possible. Use force if necessary. Oh, so we can capture the VIP instead. Or if we're running low on time, we can just shoot them. Cool. Options. You know, we've been in kind of a rough spot lately between the intel increase, the mass injuries from the last two missions, but I can proudly say we're still only on one death. I know people are like, Bazino, you're jinxing it by saying that. It's like, they hate the concept of jinxing because that means you can literally never celebrate about anything in your whole life. So, Move to not gonna to worry about it. Contacts. Oh, look at that guy. Is that the VIP, or is that just some random guy? Sitting in an advent... I don't know, maybe maybe it's not that bad. Maybe it's just an advent massage chair. There's a roof we can get right on top of up here, and I kind of like that. So, you know what, let's go for it. Shield. On my way. Yeah, boy. Moving to designated position. Moving to designated position. Let's just hope there's no advent up here. Roger that. Sometimes they will be walking around on rooftops for literally no reason. They aren't. We're lucky. Moving on target location. Let's go film. Yeah, boy. That's affirmative. Okay, let's move up now. En marcha a las coordenadas designadas. Tengo a la vista un pelotón enemigo. Whatever you say. It's like we found two, but they're not really in our way. We would kind of have to go out of our way to encounter them, in fact. Heading to that location. Let's see what's over here. Good to go. If anything. Nothing. Looks like they're all over here or past this point. So it might be best if we look into taking these guys out. Affirmative. Oh, 
Informative. Bien, me muevo al objetivo. Good to go. Yes, they're coming this way. Okay. So. We have a lot of options here. I like this one a lot. Because <laughs> just shoot them in the face. Be done with it. But Overwatch Ambush didn't work so well for us last time. But this time we have high cover. Or we have height advantage. Moving. Everyone's ready. So I think we can do it just fine. What's your sight line look like? Yeah, we can all see them. Okay. So I could blow them up, but I really want to keep all my grenades. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take the shot with Jackal here. Oh, no, that's his nickname now. Corrupted gained the nickname Jackal. I like it. I think I'm going to do that. And then everyone else overwatch. And keep a grenade open just in case. Ooh, nice crit, Kale. They spotted us. That's how an Overwatch ambush is done. Enemigos pacificados. That is how we do it. So, let's start moving everyone forward. I'm going to see our hack chances here. Probably. Oh, glad I did that. Because now, because we did that... I don't know, there's no inherent advantage aside from the fact that we're still on the roof for some easier shots, so... I'm on the move! But we do need to be careful of that captain, because if he tosses a grenade up here, that's four deaths. Just instantly. So I'm actually going to try with a grenade here. And get rid of both of their pieces... Well... Where's the captain? Is the captain... Oh, the captain's in there. Will that hit him, though? It's kind of hard to see. Funky camera angles. I wish I could get rid of all their cover, but... I can't. So, we're gonna have to go for this. Because I really want to get rid of that captain. No matter what we do. Corrupta, do you think you can take the shot? Actually, he has lightning hands now. So hold on. He may be able to just... No, he can't. You can only see him with lightning hands. But I'm going to have... K I don't want him to take the shot yet. Because that may be a waste of lightning hands that will just lose forever. So I think I'm going to do, instead of having the rookie try her hand at shooting someone here, I'm going to have her get rid of this Advent Lancer's... Or Stun Lancer's cover. Our other rookie, unfortunately, cannot see anyone. So, I'm liking the idea of lightning handsing him and maybe a crit will come out. If it does, he dies. Yes! Kale, let's go! Hostile terminated. And the sniper shot. Oh, I can bring someone else down. Although, I don't know if I want to do that. It's not really any full cover we can take. Well, inside we can. But, I prefer just stay on the roof. On the move. 
and taking Overwatch. He's running. So I'm not sure if when they run away, if they actually tell their teammates where we are, or if they just run away and then On your order. join up with them, and then they continue their patrol route normally, you know? We need to reload with everyone here. Position confirmed. If possible. Good copy. Moving on target. Hey, Marta. Okay. Why did the music just get like... At first the music stopped for a second, like, oh yeah, we're done. And all of a sudden it just gets super heavy. <laughs> we need to get to this door. Now it kicked in again. What? Why? <laughs> I guess it just likes to swell. Let's get in front of this door, but we're not going to open it. Confirmed. Overwatch, I'm you, and you, and Kale, I want you to... Getting up here might be kind of nice, but that also kind of risks being seen. So Kale, just sit out here. You know, just Overwatch, actually. Why not? Right you hear that? Okay, let's open the doors. On vous portera s'il le faut. Target identity confirmed. Menace one five. Remember, we're here to, to capture, capture the, the VIP. VIP move impossible. a soldier to close range and Knock use the subdue ability. Try. We don't get spotted. Moving to designated coordinates. Yeah, I see him. He's not an enemy. Stop freaking out, XCOM. Well, I mean, he's an enemy, but it's not like any immediate danger to him. Can I knock him out with a full move? Or is he going to run away? I can't. He's going to run away for something. I'm not going to go into Overwatch because that means we might just decide to gun him down. Capturing him is very much preferable. We're going to hunker down. Oh, he stayed still. Thank God. Well, the one I... I don't really want to burden our Grenader because once we pick him up, we can't do anything else with him. And that zone's still far ways away. You know what, Cassandra? You already got your promotion. Cowboy hat. Status confirmed. Target package in custody. Oh, it takes two different people to knock him out and then pick him up? Are you kidding me? Well, we don't have time to argue over who's doing what, so... We only have five turns to extract. Either that, or we that lose all the like soldiers who don't get extracted. Someone, does it? I should have been more hasty about this, but you know me, super cautious. Actually, this door isn't even open yet, so. Uh, as much as I hate to do this, come on. We're leaving. Let's do this the easy way. Solid copy. Okay, next turn we're gonna burst down this door and take out whatever's in our way. Multiple hostiles advancing in our position. Oh shit, and they're calling in for reinforcements too. Menace one five, we're picking up an enemy transport inbound on your current position. Do you think we could sneak around this way a little more easily? Like, run out here. I saw the uh, Advent Soldier run in this direction, so maybe if we went out here, 
we could get farther without running into them. Plus, it's a just a clearer path. So, I'm going to try it with you. Me dirijo a la posición indicada. Okay. Maybe this is the better path. Although we won't be able to engage on those reinforcements quite yet. But... Oh. Well, I'm glad I kind of did that then, because they can't see us in the other room waiting for them, so they... They don't know, because they can't see us. This is actually pretty great. This is great. So, Kale, you still have a grenade and lightning hands left. So I'm going to let you lightning hands this guy. No chance of killing him. But a grenade will finish him. Or we could use the grenade to blow a hole in the wall. No, we can't. Because that would hit us too. Wait, what? Is that a stun lancer? Oh, it's a stun lancer on the second floor. Could we hit him? That would be even better. He might fall through if we do this. Here, catch. He fell through the roof. I think that causes three extra damage. Yeah, cool. Unfortunately, though, we don't really... Hmm. We're in a bad position to start shooting at people. That's the issue. Like, unless we choose not to take cover, we have no option but to start shooting or hunker down. And it's going to take at least two turns to get out there. This is not a good situation. Maybe if we overwatch in here, they'll think of running through this door, but... Because they can't see us once again. Heading out. Hi, Sectoid. You don't have a wonderful shot chance on him, but, the, but at least this gives us a chance to shoot at him. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? VIP, we're going out the door together. Back here. Go, go, go. I really want to get rid of the stun lancer, but things don't seem like they're going to be so clear cut. I could get all of them if I ran him over here with a flashbang, which I think I want to do. But that'd be less of them dead. I don't know. I'm thinking of just making a break this way and trying to see what we can get out of that. In which case, this is kind of dumb to do, but... Oh, I don't know. I'm going to stick to our flashbang plan. Because I can hit all of them. I'm going to leave you in Overwatch. And... I'm going to have you run. Also. Heading to that location. We have a whole other group of... Oh, this is a bad idea. I wish we didn't all crouch up next to the wall. I don't know. There's a lot of things I could have done better, but... Okay, on the bright side, that is just for normal peon soldiers. He's gonna flank. I knew it, but... Or he's going to overwatch like a madman for some reason. Okay. Dumb sectoid did dumb things.
No one got hit. But we need to book it. We need to go. On the bright side, that group of reinforcements hasn't seen us. So. But we lost access to grenades because I decided to pick up uh, the guy with our gren grenadier, but I found that to be a better option. But now we have no grenades at all. Let's go for it. Get him off Overwatch. With death. <laughs> My favorite status eliminated. ailment. I really don't want to get those Advent Soldiers involved in this right now. The extra ones. But we have no choice if we want to advance. Go we have to take some risks here and there. Disori oh my god, while well disoriented too. Luckily, you're just a rookie. Okay. Okay. This makes me feel a lot better. I forgot that sectoid's still there. Can I close the door? No, we demolished the door. <laughs> I was hoping, like, what if I just closed the door and, you know, left? But that's not gonna happen. I'm afraid of moving up once again, but we need to get rid of this guy. And we're all pretty safe. Everything's said and done. Oh, we're good, we're good. This doesn't save us from the sectoid that could flank us easily, but... Move, move, move. Two turns to get to that point. We're just gonna have to book it. Gonna shoot him? No, he's going to raise the trooper. Sectoid all-time favorite move. Okay, let's get out of here. I don't care anymore. We're leaving. Two turns. Don't have time for this. So you can get over there in two turns. Everyone needs to go now. On the move. Yep, that triggered them, but Advent forces on the ground. Full cover for everyone. As long as they don't run on to the point. I am really worried about you, but not much can be said or done. I don't think the zombie can run that far. No, I'm fine with where you are, because you can get to the point, so... Should I just have you evacuate now? I think I'll do that. Because they're not overwatching, so... Best chance. Come on, Onyx. Get out now. VIP secure and in position for evac. Okay, that's one soldier. That's one. This is Firebrand. VIP is secure. He just overwatched. That's a problem. This just turned into a huge problem. <sighs> the question is, who can I afford to lose to overwatch shots here? It's either someone's getting overwatch shot, or we don't leave. I knew someone was going to get hit by the zombie, but... Or not. 
Okay, Keese, you're in his way, so... I can't afford to lose anyone who's trained. Go. Good to go. Keese, if you survive... Keese saved this entire mission. This rookie just saved everyone. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Good job, everyone. I'm out of here. I'm gone. Keese, you made that last run. Status At least it's on calling you. That went so well. Uh One hundred percent shot percentage. We did not miss one time. Good extraction, everyone. I made some bad calls there. I had the grenadier like pick up the person out of panic, like we needed to move. But I should have kept the grenadier because if I did, I could have killed entire groups of people. But overall, we have one injured rookie. Everyone else is fine. That was okay. I can be happy with that. <laughs> Taking Advent apart one mission at a time, Commander. Impressive work. So, uh, Dominguez, sorry, but you got... You took a shot pretty hard. But, of course, she promoted into a ranger. It's perfect. Oh, your actual name is Cassandra. I'll just call you Cassandra from now on. But, um... Yeah. And we... Captured the evil Luca Lombardi. I don't know who that is, but we got Considering him. Considering the limited resources available to you, Commander, you have still managed to exceed my expectations. Excellent work. I don't know how I did, sir, but we did. We're getting thin on manpower, Commander. We should check with Resistance HQ for new recruits. Uh, Margarita's shaken. But aside from that, everything's going fine. We can get increased region income for scanning this. And honestly, we don't... Actually, I want to get that black market Avenger, done. New course. Because I think we can straight up buy more intel from the black market if necessary. Or soldiers. Incoming message for you, Commander. Patching it through to your quarters now. I had high hopes for the resistance under your leadership, Commander. And you have outdone yourself. Okay, we stopped one retaliation. Completed a guerrilla op, completed a council mission, completed a supply raid, and contacted two regions. As well as the fact that we can now uh, recruit Luca Warlock, who showed up as a corporal. And I think this is a scientist, which we can buy. Dark events. So, there are three dark events that can happen in the next two weeks. First is Vigilance, which... Or, sorry, versus Alien Cipher, which we've seen before, and I really don't like that one because it increased all intel costs by 100%. We really don't like this. Uh, next is Vigilance, which aliens are on high alert, making it harder for Exxon to catch them unaware. This doesn't bother me. We can spend 30 intel to reveal this event, and I'm going to. Alien Infiltrator. Aliens hide in ambush among the populace, placing fa hidden faceless aliens on each mission for a month. Honestly, this isn't that bad to me. I'm more worried about this, because if we lose the grand strategy, we lose everything. Faceless, we can deal with. Um, I think we're probably going to go for Alien Cipher. So we have supplies waiting there. Another take on the Avatar project. Commander, the aliens continue to make progress on the Avatar project. If we're going to slow them down, we'll need to move fast. Okay. I didn't even get- that wasn't even a day. Commander, oh. we've received word <laughs> that the aliens have completed a facility devoted to their work on the Avatar Project. If we can establish contact with the local resistance forces in this region, we can make a move on that facility and destroy it to set back the aliens' operation. 
So, um, this, we need to contact here next. This is our next objective, is to get down here and contact... What? Oh, hey. So, uh, the black market salesman is selling alien alloys, a laser sight, an auto loader, some supplies. You buy everything from the black market with intel, by the way. Um, we can rush magnetic weapons if we have a hundred intel. That's huge. I might just go and scan intel so we can get this. Or study the... If we study the blueprints... Because this lasts all month. If we study the blueprint next instead of the guns, we can actually get this faster. So hold on. It's going to take us 35 days to get magnetic weapons, but if instead of actually just well studying the, the magnetic weapons, we change up the research to data pad encryption, which is going to give us intel, we can just buy it in half the time. I'm... I like that. Uh, we have a whole month to gather intel and... But the intel costs are doubled. I, I'm... I'm... Maybe we should oh, wait, no, they're not doubled yet. We else have... To pilot the Avenger. I'm never going to get we can actually counter that. Never mind. Pistol. What am I saying? I'm stupid. <laughs> so, I think that's the route we're gonna go, actually. I'm gonna change up the magnetic weapons research to research is proceeding as planned commander this intel catch commander we've already dedicated considerable resources toward the current research project however we can move on to something else if you'd prefer yes i'll direct our efforts towards the new research project immediately commander once we've made progress i'll send word so we're low intel resist or resistance comms at capacity we're a little under strength, but all this is fine. So before we buy anything in this black market, or do anything else... I want to go back to Resistance HQ. And I'm actually going to scan for intel. Actually, hold on. I also want to... Welcome, Commander. Another engineer? I need a scientist, but... You know, having another engineer won't be all that bad, so I think I'm actually gonna buy this one, because we have a lot of supplies. So... Yeah, we have an extra engineer now. Who can start... Digging in one of these debris areas. Isabella, start working. Okay, let's start scanning for intel. Welkin Gunther is now trained as a specialist. We have a lot of wounded soldiers right now, so I'm actually not going to train anyone. Until someone gets healed. Warfare Center now operational. Oh, thank goodness. So the Advanced Warfare Center is now up. So, we can actually put soldiers in here to heal them faster. Oh, you know, let's retrain soldiers, sorry. So if you put a soldier here, it retrains their ability so you can kind of respect them. But we always want to have an engineer in here because it increases soldier healing rate by 100%. So it's huge, as I said. Um, this should change. Look at these recovery times. Everyone's gonna be back up in no time. We don't even have a single rookie left anymore. Okay. I feel like we're fighting the odds. <laughs> power relay now operational. Okay, we have a power relay, that's fine. I need to staff this last engineer into doing something. I guess get started on the alien machinery. I don't really have anything else for you to do.
Okay. Oh. Commander, with the number of contacts we've established, we're getting requests for support from multiple sites around the world. Unfortunately, we only have the resources to respond to one of them. The decision is yours. So, we're going to reduce the intel costs, which... It sucks, because that means we're going to have to give up on this scientist. But... If we don't reduce the intel costs, getting through this early game and getting to some of these sites is going to turn into hell. So, we're going to have to skip out on the scientists, and with this one we get a sharpshooter. But we're going to have to skip out on the scientists. I just don't see any other way I'm going to do this. Setting course for the Arctic. It's also a moderate mission, which means this is not going to be easy. And we do not have a lot of our best soldiers available. I mean, we have Kale. We're just gonna have to make this work. You know? Anyways, if you guys are enjoying the series, please leave a like. Next episode, I hope to finish this mission. It's probably gonna be pretty brutal, because the difficulty's moderate. I hope to finish this mission, and then go on to scan a bit of intel, and then discover magnetic weapons through the black market dealer, because apparently all of his deals go through the end of the month. And then we are going to... After that, I guess we're going to finish researching the data pad, and then we're going to go into a bunch of autopsies and try to progress the story a little. So, yeah, see you guys on the next one. Right now.